Uh, Abdurrahim, last thing, and I know this is going to be tough for you, but I don't mind if you give loads. You're like someone who reads a lot, right? What's some great books that you would recommend people to read? They could be on any topic. They don't need to be Islamic or religious or they could be about fiqh, whatever you like. And I don't mind if you just reel off different ones, but just tell us like which are the books that you recommend the most to people and what would you kind of give us? Okay, I don't like, I, I've given up recommending books and I'll tell you why, <laughs> right? The reason is I, I, I have recommended a few books to people, right? Generally to people generally, right? And people have written back to me, oh, well, how can you recommend this book? It's full of shirk and kufr, right? This person doesn't even believe in Allah. And, what, and then I realized, oh, okay, you know, I got it, right? So the responsibility on someone like me actually is to read those books, yeah, and then re-present the information to people, to Muslims, right, in a way that is, you know, in a way that is beneficial for them, right? So, you know, forgive me for plugging my, you know, course on willpower. Right? I'm not really plugging it. it. But that's the same. I, I re read a lot of stuff on psychology. I found it super useful, right? So what I do, did is I took a lot of this stuff and then I repackaged it with Islamic references, right? And so how can people develop their ability to self-regulate, to self-control, to have self-discipline, you know, develop their suburb, but using some of the techniques that we have from modern psychology, instead of telling, telling people, oh, read this book and read that book, and then they get confused, right? So I, I, I would generally, it's, I, I'm very, very cautious now about recommending, you know, books in general. I, I like to have a whole list of them that I think are absolutely brilliant books, but I realize that, you know what, unless you have a good grounding in knowledge, people actually genuinely could get confused, mm. right? So how do we get onto this, um, so this willpower? I, I might recommend something to you, Arshad, but I... Uh? How do we get onto this willpower course? That yeah, you yeah, it's it's uh, it's called... I, I don't know, we're... we're it's... It's being. I'm. We're, I think what it's going to be. We're, we're, it's. It's a. It's a call. It was called the seven will. The seven pillars of willpower. But I think they've given it. The brothers gave it a new name now, and the the emails are going out at the moment. So, um, but just look at it. For it's the only course I do. An online course. Um, I'll put it, it in might the be cool. I can't remember. Episode. I'll put it in the show notes. They gave the it. A new, they gave it a new name. It used to be called the seven pillars of willpower. Yeah. But I think the brothers gave it a new name, right? okay. so I don't remember what it is. But inshallah, you know, if your listeners are, are interested, they can look out for it, inshallah, or maybe put a link to it. Yeah, I'll yeah? put a link to it. Um, but I mean, the point is, I, I, look, I only mention that from the point of view of I don't generally recommend books. I mean, the books I do recommend people to read is read the translation of the Quran in whatever language you're most familiar with. Read it and read it and reread it and, you know, spend a lot of time reading the Quran. I really recommend everyone reads, you know, Riyadh the Salihin, which I think is probably, it, it, it's the, probably the best mm -hmm. compilation of hadith that is most of them are authentic. It's very nicely structured. It's great books of hadith to go through. Um, you know, th these, you know, the, the, I think Dr. Bilal Phillips's books, all of his books, um, Fundamentals of Islamic Monotheism, are, are, is really probably a very, very uh, amazing, but very old school, but still one of the best. Um, Yasser Qadi's books, I, love, I like his old book. I don't know if he's re released anything recently, but, you know, he has a lot of um, good books as well. Um, I mean, there's so many good books out there. Uh, Purification of the Soul by Ahmed Farid. That's a really nice. I don't even know if it's still around. I mean, these are the, <laughs> these are some of the books that I really, really benefited. Inner Dimensions of Worship by uh, Imam Ghazali. The, the translation of some section of Ihihlu Madin. Right. Um, it's a very, very nice. But yeah, the, the, that's it, bro. I, I, I think you know Quran. Uh, Riyadh Salihin, you know, make that I would really sort of make that your, you know, your Staple. the main course, mm. <laughs> you know, and concentrate on that. Amazing. And then otherwise, I could only recommend things to people individually when I sort of know them a bit better. Sure. Okay. Wonderful. Well, Rahim, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here today, bro. Jazakallah khair for all your time and your wonderful advice. Um, uh, I know everyone watching will love what you had to share. Uh, I'm sure that you played your part in them being better leaders. Jazakallah uh, khair once again. Brothers and sisters, this is the Muslim CEO show. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really amazing for me to spend more time with my sheikh. 
Um, and please remember to subscribe to our channel. Check out the free training at muslimceo.com. Until next time, jazakallah khair for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.